The series of events that would make Rue Savanga the most reviled woman on Serona began only minutes before closing time at the Orofino Museum. The windows had been rain-streaked all day, and now had gone dark. Rue was at her desk, reading a new art history treatise she needed to review, when her wristband chimed. There is a gentleman here asking to see you, the guard at the front desk said. He says he comes from Radovani. Radovani was seven light years away. Rue glanced at her calendar. No appointment. She could easily dodge this one, but the book was disappointing. Simplistic ideas gussied up in jargon, and she needed a break. All right, I'll come down, she said. That was her first mistake. The parts of the museum beyond the public galleries were cluttered and utilitarian. Exposed conduits and plumbing ran along the ceiling above her as she paced down the scuffed tile corridor lined with crates and display cases no one wanted to throw away. Emerging into the airy, sophisticated architecture of the lobby was a release from claustrophobia. It was clear who her visitor was. He stood out for his stillness in the bustle of departing visitors. Tall and slim, with long black hair pulled back in a tie. His hands were in the pockets of a jacket much too light for the weather outside. Rue introduced herself. When she held out her hand, the young man stared at it for a second before remembering what to do with it. My name is Traversed Bridge, he said then, apologetically. I have an unreal name as well, if you would prefer to use that. No, your real name is fine. Rue had no idea what he was talking about, but it seemed the polite thing to say. You've come from Radovani. I just arrived by Wayport. I came directly here. What can I do for you? He looked at the floor as if at a loss for words. I'm sorry, he murmured. I'm not good at this. They should have sent a woman. Mystified, Rue said, you're doing fine. He looked up. He had beautiful liquid charcoal eyes. I was sent by the Whistering Kingdom of Manhu. I've come to find our ancestors. None of this rang any bells with Rue. I think they may have called the wrong person, she said. You probably want to speak to our ethnographic curator, Magister Hess. No, I was given your name, he said. He fished a card from his pocket. Her name was written on the back. On the front was printed the name and contact information for a colleague at the Radovani archives, someone who ought to have known better. Rue sighed. All right, then. Why don't you come up to my office and you can explain?